Alright, cool. Well, that's another alternative ending to it then. Sweet. Alright, so now uh, I guess I get another choice here. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? I don't know. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Most likely, most likely in the meeting room would be nice, yes. Okay, so uh, this time I'll. Uh, I swore when the stairs Stanley were came different. came to a set of two open doors. Okay. He entered the door on his left. Alright, I'll take the one on my left. Okay, okay. We get, we're good here, man. We're good. Narrator, you and I, we're going to be okay here. All right. Yet there was not a single person here either. No. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up <laughs> Talk to his boss's office. Talk less. Don't believe in me. It's a one every day. That basically sums up work in a nutshell. Wait, I want to see that one again. Sorry, I want to see the slide again. Let's see how to speak with a coworker. Do uh, it's going to be too long to wait. All right, cool. No problem. Now yeah, see, there's a staircase down. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, so I'm gonna go downstairs. Cause I'm a rebel. Whoa. It's kinda creepy. But Stanley just couldn't do Whoa. it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. Yeah, that's scary. Fired for that. Yeah, no. And right. in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? Oh. All because he believed everyone had vanished. His yeah. boss would think he was crazy. Yeah, I'm not crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. What? I'm not... All of my co-workers no, blinking mysteriously out of existence what? I'm in not... a single moment. No. For no reason at all. None of it makes <laughs> any logical oh, sense. Me. No, I'm not crazy. pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. What are you talking about? For example... Why couldn't he see his feet when he looked what? down? What? Wait. Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? I don't know. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. What? Were they what? simply repeating? What? No, Stanley said to himself. No. This is all too strange. This can't be Wait, real. what? And at last, Wait, what? he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his What? 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 just hadn't found what? the words for it. No, I'm not. I'm dreaming. Yeah, it must be dreaming. Dreaming. This is all a dream. No. Oh, what this... relief Stanley felt to have finally found oh, an answer, an explanation. Must... Yes. His yes. His co-workers weren't actually gone. What he the? He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. No, I'm not crazy. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. Mm -hmm. I'll have to go back yeah. to my boring real life job. No, stop. I love it. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. Yeah. So, he oh. imagined himself flying. Yeah. He began to gently float above the ground. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. And then he imagined whoa. himself soaring through space on a magical star field. And it too whoa. appeared. It was what? so much fun. What? And Stanley marveled that he had still uh. not woken up. What? How was he remaining so lucid? I don't know. And then perhaps the strangest question of them all what? entered Stanley's head. Ah! One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Ah! Why is there a voice in my head? Oh, yeah. Everything that I'm doing. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. No, no, now no. Now the voice was describing no, itself no, no. being considered by Stanley, no. who found it particularly strange. No, I'm not. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me thinking about how it's describing my thoughts he thought no no and while he thought it Not all crazy really odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams the truth was that of course this was not a dream. No, no. How could it be? No. Was Stanley simply deceiving no. himself? No. Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't no. have to take responsibility for himself? No, no, no. Stanley I'm fine. I'm fine. Fine. Has awake right no, don't. Now, as don't. He's ever been in his life. Don't say that. I'm now, not. hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. No. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment? Yeah, like I just floated. Would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, yeah. surely, yeah. if he could uh -huh. just, he would prove it. What? He would prove that he was in control. I am in that control. This was a dream. Mm -hmm. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. Okay. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. Okay. The press of the mattress on his back. Okay. The fresh air of a world uh, outside this one. How wonderful. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. Please. I'm through with this dream. I am through I with this dream. I wish it to be over. I do too. Let me go back to my job. Let I... me continue pushing the buttons. 
Please, it's all I want. I would like that. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Oh. Everything will be fine. Okay. I am okay. It's okay. It's okay, Stanley. No, oh my God. What? What? No. Stanley began screaming. Please. Oh God. Someone wake me up. I know oh God. Why am I, I crazy? Boss, I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. Oh. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone? What's hear happening? Me? Who am I? Who am I? What? And everything went black. What? Oh, Stanley, I'm not crazy. I swear, Stanley, I'm not crazy. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. What? What? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. What the? But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to uh, himself. I was crazy. Perhaps dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. No. As much she knew. I'm not gonna no. what crazy people are. I'm Stanley! And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. Yay. Then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. <laughs> the very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career. And by extension, the rest of her life. I love this game so she much. Had no time for this. So it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Awesome. I swear, I'm not crazy, guys. I swear. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. Okay, so I'm back here. So do I... What are my options here? Do I have... You know, okay, so let's see. Last time I went down the How other door. Wonderful. Stanley was alone. Finally. This is great, he thought to himself. This oh. is what I've wanted all along. Oh. I got what I wanted. This is what I want? Wait, what? I, I never heard him say that before. When Stanley came to a set of okay. two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. So I'm going to follow the rules. I'm going to go upstairs again and see what the next option is I can defy. Then... I swear I'm not crazy, guys. I'm not crazy. Yet there was not a single Wait, I want to see this. Talk less. Do unbelievable, amazing work all the time, every day with no expectation Stanley of promotion or recognition. Don't office, get fired. Hoping he might find an answer there. That, that's basically my job in a nutshell. That's how I feel about it. Yeah. All right, sweet. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs yeah. to his boss's yeah, office. Cool, you. Narrator and I, you and me, we're going to get along just fine. Executive bathroom. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. What's this door? Whoa. I've never been in here before. What is it, an elevator? Do I want to go up or down? I'd like to kind of go up. Alright, so I have two cho Well, you know, this is the next choice, I guess. Uh, let's go up. Because, you know, moving on up. It's always a good thing. Aw, oh, yeah. How wonderful is it to be in an elevator? Da! Breaking down dancing here. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I'm Stanley now. Yeah. Da, 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 Can we hurry and get up to the top of the stairs? To the staircase. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, I wanna open the door. The door. The door. The door. Come on, baby. What? How am I still going up? Oh, finally. Okay, I... What? I didn't go anywhere? 
No, no, I had to go somewhere. Come on, come on. Let's go down. Let's try go. Let's try going. Well, up didn't work. I'm gonna try it one more time. Let's go down. No, no, no. I want to go down. I want to go down. So it doesn't go anywhere. What the heck? Go down. Go down. Elevator. Down. This is creepy. This is not a choice. Whatever. I'll just go then, I suppose. There's the employee bathroom available to me. Or executive bathroom. Oh, it is. Nice. Oh, what the? Money in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast. Money crisp. Yeah, that, that looks wonderful. I want a bathroom like that. That'd be nice. Alright, so I guess I go to the office. Hmm. What's the old one again? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? I don't know. Stanley wondered aloud I don't know. to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, nah. pulling books off the shelf, looking behind uh, paintings, desperate for clues to wait, his behind situation. Paintings? But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. No, sorry. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. I don't want to. I don't so want to. the boss uh, had assigned yeah. it an extra secret pin number, two eight four five. But I don't know that. But of course. Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. No. So now what? I couldn't have known it, so that, that's it. I, I don't know. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything oh, oh. on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Yeah, I don't know it. I don't know it, narrator. I don't know the narr I don't know the buttons, man. How am I supposed to do this? Two, eight, Four, five. But I don't know that. I'm not even gonna put anything in here. Oops. Oops. Nice. Right, so that's it. You know. Forgot. But it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, what? and the door just opened all by itself. What? And Stanley got the hell along with the story. <laughs> Did do. <laughs> <laughs> I love this game so much. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys have to get this. Okay, let's go around with the store. What if I hit on on the mind control device? How evil would that be? I'm just moving on downstairs now. To the downstairs. Wow, this is crazy. I want to see what I want to see what my next choice I can defy is. Cause there's so many different options. Okay. All right, so I'm downstairs. It's scary. It's Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that <gasps> read es "Mind Escape. Control Facility." Escape. 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 Although this passageway had the word "escape" written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. What? What? What what was that narrator? The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. I'd rather not. That doesn't sound nice. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. I don't want to die. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What is that? No, I'm not going there. I don't want to go in there. I guess. I guess. <laughs> I'm loading again here. Okay, so I guess I, I'm i dead. Am I dead again? Did I die? I don't want to die. Oh, cool. Free fall. Whoa. How do I live? What? What the? As the machine whirred into motion, Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise. What? He reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. What? 
Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story. Trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps what? his death was of no great loss. What? Plucking the eyeballs from a blow. No, no, no. So he resigned what? and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. No. Farewell, Stanley. No. Oh, God. Oh, no. No, please. No. What? The Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator. As Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. What? In a single visceral instant, what? Stanley was obliterated. What? As the machine crushed every bone in his body, no! killing him instantly. No, please, no, please! Ah! Oh, what? 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 Oh! Wait, so and yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? I don't know. What when the? every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see oh. now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? <gasps> I understand nature paintings. Lovely. Look at that Stanley's computer office layout. This blueprint shows the office at the beginning of the game. Stan the parable. The two doors apart of the game was built. Says er uh, sections have been added and altered throughout the development. The core layout almost identical to the first generation. So here it is until the two doors. Corridor packing is important to get to the right. Corridors we moved all to the right. Da -da -da. And three doors. Wow, cool. Said two doors, very good design, Stanley Parable. Ah, this is so cool! I right, was this? The office. The what's behind door number one? Door number two? Door number three? Nothing. Okay, never mind. Button sounds. Hey, cool, and credits! Yay! That's awesome. You need to be the one to do this. No. To reach out. No. No. Did you just the yeah. That wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? Because I'm awesome. 